So my wife found this design on the internet and what it is is cinder blocks and 4x4s. You take the cinder blocks and you cement them together and then you put the 4x4s through after you stain it to the color you want and seal it against the weather and then you've got a nice bench. Now, uh, what my wife Jan did also was to get some cushions and so here's before the cushions and there it is with the cushions. And there it is in a little bit wider angle so you can get the full effect. What you need is 14 cinder blocks, 6 4x4s, some stain, some here. sealant, and some adhesive to glue the cinder blocks together. The cushions are optional. Maybe here like, maybe. So what we've got here is a nice COVID project. <laughs> and I've uh, already got people coming by to look at it. JC's here. Hi JC, how are you today? Fantastic. It looks very beautiful. I like it. Garden. Oh, Jan wants us to check out the garden. Okay. Over here we have some young tomato plants and then some bean bushes and blueberries. Look at those nice blueberries. We got some romaine lettuce growing here. Green onions doing very well. And now in here some more mature tomato plants. We got mint and basil and other herbs growing here in the front. And those tomatoes are doing very well back there. We got some oregano here. And then we have a and a nice rosemary bush. Then we move on to our lemon tree. And then jade plant. And with the COVID shutdown comes a chance to clean everything up. This is a great way to get some sunshine much needed after all the COVID or coronavirus shutdown that we've been putting up with. Well anyway onward to the important topic of this video and that is look what we got here. Some stuff. You know it seems like everything's in short supply these days. Well what that means is all of your Reloading and ammo is also in short supply right now. So what I have here are 300 of these empty Fiocchi shot shells and they have the 27 millimeter brass. But a day after I made the order and I posted a short little video on getting these ballistic products sold out the next day of these. So if you check the ballistic products website right now, they're all sold out, out of stock of these. Now these Fiocchi shot shell hulls, nicely primed with the Fiocchi 616 primers and the 27 millimeter tall brass section then makes a, will make for a nice slug load. The shells are nicely finished inside and out, nice and smooth, and the edges are skived, has a plastic base wad, so it's not the cheap fiber base wad down there. Good for two loadings easily. These are all ready to go, and they still had some of these MT Rio with a shorter brass in 12 gauge primed hulls just like those others over there and I decided well I'll just get a hundred of these to try them out because they were like cheap like nine dollars and ninety cents or something like that for a hundred and so I decided to get a bag to try out well they look real good so then I went back two days later to the ballistic products website and they're all out of stock of these too. So it shows how fast things are selling. Now it turns out that Ballistic Products is actually quite uh, in favor of their real hulls because they actually have a reloading manual just for real hulls. So they like them. They're rolled nicely 
and the outside has a little ribbing. The insides are smooth. Also a plastic base wad down there. And then they have, and of course they're primed. These are also skived and ready to go. Just because the brass is shorter doesn't mean that the case hull is any weaker. They're all strong enough for our slug loads. I'm very happy with all of these and only regret that I didn't get more of these reels when I had the chance. And sorry to report that none of these are in stock at this time. Well, I decided to get from Midway some of these nice 311 inch, that's for the 303 British, 7.62 by 54, all of those kind of calibers. This is the European 30 caliber. And uh, so I got some of these. They are the factory seconds of 174 grain match. Well, just thought I'd show you a close up of those. And a lot of you will recognize those as being 174 grain, 303 caliber bullets from Sierra. They're match hollow point bow tails. You can't tell these from the ones you get out of the green boxes. Then I got five of these ammo boxes, no big deal here. These are made by these are made by National Metallic and they're good. In four five eight size, they'll take all your three hundreds and your seven millimeter mags and all of that kind of thing. It'll take all of your standard cartridges like twenty five odd six, thirty odd six. All of those will fit seven point six two fifty four, thirty thirties will fit in here. So this is a very versatile size. It's a pretty nice box. The latch, it's a good latch, and I've got some 303 British rounds in here. And you see the 458 Win Mag size takes care of the 303 British easily, of course. And I've even got some cast bullet loads of the 303 British in here. The dividers are nice. There's no excess plastic flash anywhere. The hinge looks like it's good for, you know, good for maybe 10,000 openings. Should be fine. Nice snap closure. And you can see through it a little bit. I got one of these UTG 2-7 to power uh, for pistol scopes. And you know I've done videos on this already. I decided to get another one. You know, it's just too good. We need to celebrate coming out of the coronavirus shutdown. And so I got here a bottle of Not Your Father's Root Beer. It's actually beer. And prosciutto. We need to have an excuse of a party. That crane back there is watching us. So we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.